We had Grover Norquist on yesterday, and he said that by putting health care and shooting that down, that was a potential trillion dollars of savings that would have been used in the tax plan. He said for corporate taxes, just based on that going away, you went from a 20 percent tax to a 28 percent tax. So then if you also have the uh, the BAT, the border adjusted tax tariff tax coming into this, that's another trillion dollars in savings. But you don't think uh, that the border adjustment tax is going to pass, do you? No, I don't think it makes its way through the Senate. Uh, it may pass the House because of the House rules, but in the Senate it would have, be a heavy lift. And if you want a bipartisan bill, it's certainly not going to pass. I think, you, however, that you can get to a tax rate around 25 percent for corporations without the border adjustment. Uh, and you do it the old-fashioned way, the way we did it when I served on the Ways and Means Committee under Reagan or Ostankowski, which is you step on everybody's toes. That's the only way you do tax reform, by the way. You can't leave anybody out. You got to step on everybody's toes when you start limiting deductions and exemptions, so everybody thinks they're being treated fairly. And nobody thinks they're being uh, somebody's being protected, and then you then you just it's just a trading game. You 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 figure out how much you can reduce deductions and exemptions to get to the rate level you want to get to, and the rate level in the corporate side should be 25 percent at the most. And on the individual side, if you could get back to the Reagan number of 28, that'd be very very good. When you say stepping on